Man's normal morning hike ended with him being sent to the hospital. Tonight, police are searching for the man who allegedly attacked him in broad daylight. KITV4's Nana Okawa has more on how other hikers are now reevaluating their own safety. The victim said he was a mile into this popular Wahila Ridge Trail in St. Louis Heights when he was assaulted just before 11 this morning. He said a man attacked him from behind and fought him for his cell phone. The victim was taken to the hospital in serious but stable condition with cuts on his arms and legs. Hikers on the same trail say they're shocked to hear about what happened. I've been coming here all my life. I mean, since on about a day. We've never seen anything like that in our lives. It's kind of shocking and surprising. Hikers on other Oahu trails were also surprised about an attack happening during daylight hours. Those on the popular Cocoa Head Trail said it brings up recent concerns they've had about the safety of Oahu trails. There's more homeless people popping up, so, you know, I, I just wouldn't go by myself. It freaks me out, definitely. I haven't lived on the island for too long, so it's new surroundings for me. Um, so, yeah, it does make me a little bit nervous to be alone. Hikers finishing up their exercise before dark said they'll only hike in groups from now on. Others will only hike in pairs or bring along some four-legged protection. But those brave enough to go alone said they still have strategies to stay out of harm's way. I try not to veer off from, from groups of people, first off. that uh, I try to bring friends with me at all times. Hiking clubs say the key is to always let someone know where you're going and what time you should be back. They say never hike alone and be sure to finish your hike when it's still light out. The alleged attacker on the St. Louis Heights Trail is still on the loose. Police say they're in search of a heavy set male in his 30s who is wearing a gray and white t shirt and shorts. 